For more on this, let's bring in right now Ryan Morrow. He's Clarion Project Showman Fellow and National Security Analyst, also a professor of counterterrorism at Liberty University. Uh, you know, the motive is unclear. Uh, this person didn't have much of a social media footprint. ISIS claimed responsibility initially, but the FBI says that's just not the case. Um, where do investigators go from here? This is a truly bizarre case. If you study people like this uh, that are like serial killers or they try to carry out a mass killing, uh, this is really bizarre because this was clearly designed to cause a scene that's going to be on videotape, that's going to be on the news. And almost always someone like that leaves behind some type of manifesto with a message um, or they're out broadcasting message before they carry out the attack. Um, and, and that's the overall purpose, aside from getting attention on themselves. And there's no evidence of that here. Uh, there's no evidence of political or religious outbursts. He didn't leave behind a note anywhere, as far as we know, uh, saying that this is the point I was trying to make. Uh, we're hearing these reports of thousands of dollars being transferred to someone in the, in the Philippines and all this preparation to build an arsenal, uh, including explosives in his car. Uh, but then there's amateur mistakes that are made in the process. And there's just so many things about this that doesn't add up. I was just reading about how he had two private planes. Uh, he doesn't fit the profile of what doesn't. you would expect. He doesn't, Ryan. But what about the girlfriend? You know, you mentioned those wire transfers to the Philippines, which we're still trying to track down more on that. But what about the girlfriend? She's out of the country. A police saying initially she's not a person of interest, but certainly they want to talk to her when she comes back. Is she the key to finding out where he was in his life? I mean... She might be. I mean, that, that seems at this point really the only direction to go unless they can find something on one of his devices, a phone or a computer. But they've been going through that. They, they would have found that, uh, uh, I would assume, by now, unless there's something that they, they're able to discover. But uh, based on the public information, it seems like the story, one pops up and then it's debunked and then there's another one. It's hard to keep track of. Mm -hmm. um, but based on what's out there, the only trail to follow would be that uh, alleged girlfriend. And real quick, 10 seconds, uh, Ryan, were you surprised he did not have a military background considering the amount of weapons and the type of firing that he did yesterday? Were you surprised by that? Not necessarily, because there's enough paramilitary type instruction out there that if you're someone that wants to do something like this, you can acquire that type of material and you can associate with people that can teach you how to do it. It's just a matter of preparation and being crazy and evil enough to do it. And you can go onto YouTube and figure out how to convert a gun into a, a weapon of mass destruction. Ryan, thank you very much. We appreciate it.